Miss Dalton here. I want to welcome you to Art the Sponge Studio. An exciting thing. So the kids who go to Cole School know that we have a little mascot in the art room named Art the Sponge. I bet you were always wondering, what does Art the Sponge do on summer vacation? Or when he's not at Cole School? Well, since we can't be at Cole School, we have an awesome opportunity. If you want to participate to work with Art the Sponge in Art the Sponge's very own art studio. Today we're going to be doing a project called Art at Home with Art the Sponge. Here we go. Here we go. Let's draw art. I'm going to start with a circle and another circle. Now, wow. This is a running out marker, but you know what? It's okay. It's got some texture. Texture means the way something looks like it feels or the way it actually feels. So I'm gonna leave it for now. I can go back and overline it afterwards. I just really want everyone to see the lines I'm making. That's why I didn't use a pencil. But if I were you, I would probably start with pencil because you can always go back and erase it. It's real easy to erase. So I like the way the eyes are kind of looking to one side. It reminds me of somebody. Um, now I'm gonna do the contour line of art, which means the outside edge. And you can see that the outside edge is a little bit bumpy. So let's make a bumpy line around the top. And then it comes down, gets a little skinnier and there's the shape of art. Now, we can give art some expression by the way we make the lines of the mouth, the lines of the eyebrows, and the nose. If you like art to be really simple like this, you can leave it, and you can start adding in the texture of the sponge and some of the things in the background, or you can do those facial features that give him a different look or give her a different look. Art the sponge, there's a lot of different kinds of art the sponges. They don't have to be a boy or a girl. You decide. Now I'm gonna make a little nose. I'm just gonna make a little curve like that for Art's nose. And for the mouth, I'm gonna do a little side smile. I think Art looks happy. And I'm gonna give Art a few, two lines like this little bit shy. Maybe he's the fir first time you're coming into his art studio. Maybe he's feeling a little shy. And hmm, where might he be in the house? Well, let me give you some clues. He likes to snuggle up in something like a blanket. But if you think about where art is from, he's a sponge that originally was found by somebody underwater. He was a growing creature. Now, I didn't pick him up out of the water. I wouldn't do that because I know that it's a living thing and the best place for living things is where they're born and they like to stay. But somebody donated this little sponge to the art room probably about 15 years ago. And when my son was little, he asked if he could put googly eyes on it. And, um, I said yes, and for many years, Art the Sponge just hung out, didn't do anything. And this year, we started playing this game called Art the Sponge. When the children are lined up, I take Art the Sponge, all the kids look at the um, opposite wall, I hide Art the Sponge, and then everybody plays I Spy. And the first person that spots Art points, and it's a really fun way to end the class. So I thought that Introducing art at home would be a really fun way to bring art to you while we're at home. So from here, I'm going to stop because I want you to do your own version of Art the Sponge and I would love to see what you come up with. Think about the textures um, that you would use to make art. Also think of the background. Oh, I was trying to um, explain to you what he what Art the Sponge likes to do. Well, he likes to get cozy with a blanket, but it's not exactly a blanket. It's like a blanket you would use when you come out of the water at the beach. I 
but you know what that is. We're not going to tell you. And, well, as for colors, as you know, his name is Art. So basically, all the colors are his favorite color. So those are two hints. In the next video, I will show you what Art likes to snuggle up in. You can take some guesses, or you could draw Art with a background of your favorite thing you like to snuggle up with. Also, you could include um, either your favorite stuffed animal or this is our art assistant named Camilla. And Camilla is Art's friend and Art likes to hang out with Camilla. So if you wanna draw Camilla, the little stuffed animal camel, you can add that in your picture too. I'm so excited to make art with you. Have fun, bye.